Here we are, BKFC fight night. Tampa two weigh-ins are in the books. We got Josh Sanchez here making his second walk to the Bare Knuckle Square Circle tomorrow night. Welcome back. Uh, you fought back in May in Orlando. Didn't go the way you planned. I'm assuming you made some adjustments. This is going to be your second walk in there. Um, how are you feeling heading into the second go round? Great, feeling awesome. Had a good camp. Worked hard, pushed myself. Definitely changed some stuff up. Changed the game plan a lot for this one. So. Did you learn anything after training for that first one, and then not it not going the way you you wanted it to go? Did you learn some things in that first fight that you needed to eliminate from your training camps and then maybe put some things in for this one? Or did you uh, – well, tell me about it. Really what I learned the most was can't go in there and fight the way I decided to fight. I chose to fight the way I did. Yeah. I went out there and tried to rip his head off and walk through his punches, and that's just not what this sport's all about. So I figured that out real quick. On the way back to the locker room to get my stitches, I was telling my girlfriend if I had to do it over again, I'd go out there with a different game plan for sure. So, But that's – uh. You figure that out when you take a loss like that. So and that was my first one. So sometimes that bulldog approach works for certain people. It does. It does. And the heavyweights, it's 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 a risky choice to make. Yeah. Though. It's a risky choice. You don't see too many heavyweights trying to that one. It's usually the lighter weight guys that come out with a head of steam and yeah. go crazy. And I thought I, I thought I'd give it a shot. And you know maybe a different opponent it might have worked, but that guy was ready for it. And all the credit to Levi Costa. He came out ready to go. He slipped the slipped out of the way of my punches and caught me with his. And that's yeah. which is what we're here to do. So. Now, your opponent tonight, we saw you guys up on the stage tonight, Paul Shog. Is it, how do you say his last name? Shog, I believe. Paul Shog. Sorry if I butchered that. But, um, man, he's a giant. He's a monster. What would you think when you got up there and you said, well, you were looking eye to eye? Were you surprised? No, I saw his videos. I saw he was a big boy in his measurements. I saw the tail of the tape on some of his fights. And he's got an inch and a half on me, and we're the same weight. I got like six pounds on him, I think. So. You know, it's uh, the height thing doesn't really bother me. I've sparred with some really big guys. I've sparred with six, 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 seven opponents before, and I usually do pretty well. So awesome, man! Now, uh, what can we expect tomorrow night? You got a prediction for us against Paul? No prediction. Just gonna go out there, try to fight smart, as smart as I can. Stick to the game plan. You know, get get a you know a, a win in round one, a win in round two, a win in round three. You make them each each one's its own little individual fight for the night. Get through all five rounds, and if I put them to sleep before then, I put them to sleep before then. One round at a time. Pay attention tomorrow night, Josh Sanchez, BKFC Fight Night, Tampa 2, Florida State Fairgrounds. Watch it live.